This is Abe Friedanzer from CinemaDailyUS.com, and I'm so thrilled to be speaking with someone who's usually the one asking the questions, Michael Osiello. How are you doing today, Michael? Good, Abe. I'm a little uncomfortable because I'm on the other side. Well, do you, you can ask me questions if you'd prefer. We don't have to, you know, you can ask me any, anything you want. What is hanging from your ceiling? Uh, this is a, a light is that, fixture. That is the most interesting chandelier-like fixture I've ever seen. Oh, well I appreciate it. It's a it's a good backdrop for my interviews. So <laughs> I like it. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad to be talking about spoiler alert. My first question for you is you're a TV guy. Shouldn't this be a TV series instead of a movie? You'd think, right? Um, from the initial conversations I had with Jim, though, I he always saw this as a film. Um, and I, I think at the end of the day, I did too. You know, one one issue I sometimes have with limited series is I feel it feels too long or it feels like I you know I'm like this could have been a movie you know and uh and much better leave people wanting more than overstaying your welcome so easier to do that with a film I think that makes sense and I like the title and its reference to you know your work what should people know going into this film oh uh, what should people know um there are Smurfs in it. If you don't like Smurfs, if you have an allergy to Smurfs or if you have any history that, with Smurfs that are triggering, do not watch this movie. You will not have a good time because there are a lot of Smurfs in it. I like that. I'm sure you knew a lot about Jim Parsons. Did you always uh, picture him in this role and what did he know about you? So Jim and I had known each other professionally prior to this because I covered Big Bang Theory for 12 seasons as a TV journalist and was a big fan of his and had interviewed him before. You know, so we had a, a you know a really nice sort of professional rapport. I, I mean, I never pictured this being a movie, so it never I never pictured my life being a movie. So it never crossed my mind. Like I never had a list of who would I want to play me. But when the conversations with Jim started happening about him optioning the book it was always part of the deal that he would be playing me. So that, you know, it was like, it was part of the overall package. And, you know, I was more than on board with that. And having been involved in this industry for a while, what was the biggest surprise uh, for you about, you know, being involved in this, this production? Um, how hard it is to get a movie made. Like even, you know, even this, this process was relatively quick and easy compared to most, but yet it's still so many pieces need to come together. So many stars need to align for a movie to get not only made, but for the movie to be good, um, that it's a miracle that we're here today. Yeah. Well, for more great conversations like this, you can subscribe to the Cinema Daily US YouTube channel. Spoiler alert, opens in theaters beginning December 2nd. Thank you so much, Michael, and best of luck. Okay, thanks. Nice chandelier. Thank you. <laughs>